Yeah, let's see if this even plays on my computer. Yay! Hello, hello, friends. Ryan here, and I thought I'd check out Endzone 2. This is a playtest, so it'll be a good way to see if it works on my lovely computer. My intro. That is a cool intro. Alright, new game. But hello, hello, friend. Hello, hello, friend. Trying to and it's time to check out in Zone 2. Excited to play it and see what it's all about. I like the first end zone. Let's see if it works. Why it's loading so slow. Coding, overloading, right? Oh, truck. I'm pleased to meet you. I'm going to look over your shoulder while you help our settlers set up a new home. Um, by the way, I'm Ella. Hi, Ella. At the moment, all our settlers are in the Pathfinder. And you can explore the surrounding area with them. But time is tight. When the water in the Pathfinder is used up, everyone inside will die of thirst. It's not good. Mission tasks and warnings from the entire game map are displayed in this area. This information is always available regardless of what you are currently looking at with the camera. It's like one or more vehicles to move them using a right click. A rune from which resources can be looted is still getting nearby. You can use our Pathfinder to explore the wasteland. Send it off and try to find a site for another settlement. There's a fertile song. New instructions. Ah, oh, that's the right-click part, okay. Got it? We have found a new zone. Take a look at it when you get a chance. It might be worth it to build a new settlement on it. Is there split? There's splits? Why the area has been... Right, the zone has been revealed. The attributes that have to be those up. Bitable zone currently being viewed as a bit of a map. It is worth taking a look at this before proof. Ending with settling. The individual pieces of information can be clicked on to use the camera to jump to that respective position. That's it. We have fertile soil and clay. We have water too. I want to go over here. We new have to. Oh, is that it? Build new settlement. This area can be settled. A new settlement ought to be set up with sufficient food and water and some building material. Sure. We need to find a location for the center of our settlement. Once chosen, the location cannot be changed. Place the settlement center near key resources such as water, trees, and scrap ruins. First off, we have to ensure survival. We need water so that we won't die of thirst. 
Build a jetty by a body of water and assign enough workers to secure our supply. Is that jetty? In the middle of the bottom edge of the screen, you can find the most important entry points for the course of gameplay. The construction and road menu and overview of all vehicles to find them quickly again and overview of all professions. The settlement currently in view. Some sequences may take a little longer or require your full attention, that's why you can speed up or pause the game. Little jetty, assign water carriers. Construction menu. I'm seeing a lot of that. Construction men mode for individual buildings can be starred via the construction menu. We'll start it. Some production buildings allow an overview of their production chain to be displayed by clicking on the upper row. Upper arrow. By clicking several times on the number in the bottom corner, you can use the camera to focus on all buildings in one type, one after another. Jetty. This is water. I go in the water. Water carries. I need three. Oh, they're building it. That's cool to see. I wish I could zoom in a bit more. I want to get closer to see them. Zoom out quite far, but I like the to zoom in more. Water, as long as workers are assigned to it, make sure there's always enough water available. If the supply runs low, assign more settlers to work at the jetty. Water All right. Alone is not enough to survive. We need to eat too. Build a foraging hut near trees and assign workers to it so that they can search for food. Forging hut. Forging hut number. Forges for berries. Reduce food. Don't want to be by. Oh, huh. Got three people on it. What do we have? So we have eight workers available. 15 adults. We have water. 457. 451 food. 102 wood. 111 scrap. 20 plastic. 4 tools. And 23 cloth. We don't have any of these. The foraging hut produces food as long as there are sufficient resources in its vicinity. If a region's resources are ever used up, you can relocate the work area of a foraging hut at any time. We need building materials to erect new buildings. The woodcutter's hut cuts down trees and produces wood out of them. If you run out of trees at some point, you can also relocate your work area. All right, the cutting needed. I keep doing that. I'll use this button for now. What's this one? Scrapyard, the cutting, tree nursery, recycler, plantation. Okay. Swamp farm. All right. The most we can get at once. We want two lumberjacks. Arcadia Outpost, Twilight Crossing, Harbor Fall. That's kind of cool. Oh, there's more symbols to look at. Okay. Who's that? <laughs> Go for leaf. Get green. All right, Harbor Fall. Awesome. Your woodcutter's hut is already producing. By the way, 
A production site can produce faster when it stands near a stockhouse. We don't have any stockhouses yet, but the town center has the same effect. Besides wood, the most important building material is scrap. Build a scrapyard which collects scrap that is lying around or extracts it from old ruins. All right, scrapyard. So those over here. Oh, so we can extract this. That's scrap. All right, definitely building it there. The sign. It wants two scavenge, uh, salvagers. They say scavengers, but scavengers. Getting dark. Let's see. State of health. 39%. A lower level of health increases the risk of an outbreak of sickness. Now that's not good. The settler's housing situation as well as various external factors influence the health of a settlement. Average health of all settlers 50%. Homeless shelter homeless settlers 20%. Yeah. Confidence. Confidence has an effect on the inhabitants of a settlement. It's influenced by a settler's housing situation and external factors. If the level of confidence is poor, they complain more often and might possibly make demands or leave the settlement. Average confidence of all settlers, 50% homeless. I mean, you get them homes. Well done. Now the settlement will be supplied with scrap. Until it runs out, that is. Don't forget that you can move the work area in the scrapyard. I got cloth. Our people are still sleeping beneath the stars. They are. Let's build dwellings and create living space for more inhabitants. Build simple shelters. Where's our main area? It's over here. Well, I want to put something around here first. Oh, over here. My microphone's in the way. Tent number of a settle zero boosts the settler capacity of the zone. Living space plus five. So it takes ten wood, five scrap, five cloth, five recyclables, and seventeen seconds to build. I want to put it right there. Guess. Let's make a few because we really need homes. Make three for now. Oh, we need four. Never mind. We need more. View right here. Right on the edge of the water. You have water. View. Waterfront view. We speed you up. Are we going to be building at night? Yeah, we're building them. Good job, team. It is so dark. As long as they have enough living space, our settlers will reproduce and have children. Ah. Our settlement is thriving. Let's build a recycler to produce plastic. If the scrapyard is located nearby, the recycler will produce faster. The recycler. That's this one. Is this the scrapyard? <laughs> It has a plus symbol. Okay, that's good. So I'm like, where is it? Let's put it right by it. I'm going to assign some recyclers. I think it's a two. Yeah. All right. The little community is thriving. I like to get the clay. Lack of storage capacity production cannot be continued because the storage capacity of the settlement is insufficient. Oh. Food is continuously used up by settlers in settlements. As soon as no more food is on hand, the settlers starve. Good. Yeah, there's so many trees I couldn't see it. We've almost built it, right? Scrap Buildings yard. that process resources work faster when they are located near their source. The recycler requires scrap, so it benefits from being placed near the scrapyard. The workshop not only needs scrap,
but wood as well. It's best if both resources are produced nearby, but don't worry if you're not able to place it perfectly. The workshop will be able to do its work anyway. All right. So the workshop needs both, okay. Oh, this is still out of scrap and wood. I don't want to destroy the wood over here, but it's right where we need it to be. We can put it over here a bit. I don't want to destroy the scrap we're going to grab either. Oh, makers. Oh, it's further down. So many. We definitely want to see about getting those scrapped later on. If possible. Looks like my computer had trouble at the very beginning with the intro. Now it seems to be recording okay. That I can tell off the check afterward, but it seems okay. Build it, build it. I think they built it. Also, no. There's a workshop. Yeah, it's built. It's almost built. Very good. Now we have plastic and tools, things which are needed in some buildings for production. They are also important to be able to build more complex buildings in the first place. The settlement is growing, and soon there won't be enough food and water. Build a fishery to support the foraging hut. All right, fish time. Probably by the water. We're auto saving. All right, fishery. Makes food. 32 wood, 14 scrap, 5 tools, 25 seconds. Needs a body of water. Okay, so let's put you here. I feel right by some water, that's nice. And fishermen. Oh, so there's different categories. Water, food, materials, and production. Okay. Oh, we're out of people to work. Out of people working. Fine. Assign water carriers to four. Oh, um, well, we're kind of out of people. Alright. Yeah, it's red. Need more folks. Oh, you have three children here. Nice. Progress in the next child has grown up and can be used as a labor. Oh. Though the fishery is more effective than the foraging hut, it constantly uses up tools. For this reason, the fishery produces faster when tools are produced near it. Oh, well, we're nowhere near it. Cool. Now we also need cloth. Cloth is produced from fibers and they have to be grown first. To do this, build a plantation on fertile soil, as that's the only way to create fields. Alrighty. Are you happy by... Oh, you're happy by this. Just nowhere near anything fertile. Oh, our fertile land away over here. Cool. That's right in the middle. Sign a gardener. He's still almost out of people. We have two master builders. Can I drop that to one? We don't have the two anyway, so. It should be under food. Oh wait, just need one garter. Yay. We don't have it, but 
maybe yeah one of the children grew up we'll have it soon let's speed up time a bit Zoom. okay we're getting our wood back to stuff that's good stuff achieve increase in inventory stock of fibers eventually we're at 96 wood. A child grew up so we can assign you to work. Rotationally out of cultivation. Okay, so we do have to do something this. Oh. Oh yeah, I remember this system. Well done. Up till now, we can only grow fibers. But if we find more types of seeds, then we can cultivate them on the plantation too. Alright, all information about the currently view is displayed here. This includes the status of settlement as well as the resources stored, which are shown can be changed by clicking. The fibers are crafted into cloth at a weaving mill. This requires water in addition to fibers, so make sure that sufficient supplies of water are always available. Alright, weaving. Only places to make. Like being around anything, like being around this one. We can put you right here. Knock you down. We don't have a builder yet. Uh, let's put the gardener. No, we only have one gardener. Speed it up a little more. Missing master builders. Um, you should grow up. I'll only make a new home. Would that help them have more population? have enough master builders Let's drop the foragers because they can't produce enough right now really need to build that yeah we have the lack of storage so we don't really need anyone foraging right now and we have quite a bit of food yeah our stock is five our max is 500 right now so we are good on that about water, 500. We're gonna use the water though. But we're building now, so that's good. Click on the people. Color on route to scrap, right? Or brew scrap. We got that. We need three of one. I'm pretty sure I had just one. Weaver. And we just have one. Great. If the water Great. supply ever runs low, you can pause the work at the weaving mill, saving valuable drops. Always ensure that there is enough living space for the settlement to keep growing. We're going to need all the helping hands we can get. We are. 
Build simple shelter. Okay, so yeah, it's time to build more of those. It's probably really good. Put it out. Yeah. That should be enough, right? We want to build it. No, no, we somehow do not. Borders, we're going to just let you rest a bit. What's our capacity? 250, 250, 250. Okay. Nearly 250? All right, that's worrisome. Oh, yeah, three more babies. One's almost grown up. I'd like to upgrade from tents, please, but that's all you got. That's all you got, and that'll work. And they look nicer than just a normal tent. Little cooking spot. So the uh, cooking is outdoors. It looks really cool. more tents. We'll just, yeah, it says we have eight. Maybe it says build more. Oh no, you're still building. See if that turns to seven. Mm, yeah, it did. Okay. Not to say, I'm pretty sure we have eight. Thanks to our joint efforts, our little settlement will soon be thriving and our stock houses will be full. Yeah, water drill full. If the storage site is full, it needs to be expanded. There is a storage site for water, one for food, and one for all other materials. Place storage sites near your production sites so that they can produce quickly. Okay, so build cisterns, food deposits, and material deposits. That's logistics. Get some water storage because we definitely need that. Guess we'll put it right here. And then food. Oh, we need more recycles. Put it over here. Guess we'll put it by the forager. Is this the forager? I think. Let it tell what's what. Let's get right in there. Resources are missing when attempting to place a building. Automatically be placed as a blueprint. Since sufficient resources are available in the settlement, the construction work can be started manually. Blueprint is also useful for planning a settlement advance. The blueprint mode can be activated for this purpose. In this mode, buildings can always be placed as blueprints, erected at a later point in time as desired. Right. Materials, that's for everything else. Oh, there's like a range. Where were you? Cloth? Like these three are better suited for it. You have no plastics. Oh, so here's the blueprint mode. Okay. Should I make more recyclers work? Do you have enough people? Yeah. Okay, so here's a recycler. We are working on it. it takes three minutes. Take scrap. Rolling the to town center boost efficiency. Building. Oh. The positive vicinity. Okay, that one's happy. So I need a road. I wonder why I had to not to make a road yet. Oh well.
won't break things if I do it early, right? <laughs> I don't know where the rules are in here. We could probably use one to make it more efficient. What's that? Pharmacy. Like a needle through a bandage. What's this? You need resource. Oh, there's a graveyard. Hmm, well. It might be locked until we get the tutorial. Oh, decorations. Trees. Flower beds. Oh, that's a fancy one. Garden. Bench. Flag. You research for a hut and research for a house. Oh, we need two. Of them. Oh, gosh. We're going to take a while to get those. Take a long walk. Because there's all that materials. All type of soil. Oh. Guess I'll put you over here. I'd rather have more like, fisheries and things over here, but oh well. Not supposed to have a lot of them. The food went over by the here, right? That count. Mm. One over here. Why do we need so many? We have material. Two more food ones. Just run it quickly. Need more of these. Okay, they can start building whatever they feel like building. We're auto saving. Fourteen children. Wow. Okay. They are on that. I haven't built anything else though. Where's the master builder? Water, fishermen, foragers, gardeners, lumberjacks, recyclers, salvagers. Weavers and tool makers. Where's the master builder? Huh. Whoa. Okay. Can we build it? No workers available. Where are the workers? Oh, well, it's the forging hut. We're fine with that. That one is... Okay, so that one got built. Really working hard on that. building anything? Where the builders go? If he doesn't like fast smoke? We get the food. Yeah, we have 33 plastic. We should have plenty to make that. It's hard to tell where's what. Yeah, start building. Wait, did you... Did it delete? No, you're the building. Okay. Right. Building it. Because it went to blueprint mode. 
I thought I was going to start building once we have the materials. Okay, so our stock is now 1500 for water. Ah, 550 for food. Should go up soon. We deposit and all that. I can probably the forager start working again. Nice. Okay, so where are the other ones? One over here is let's pay construction costs. What was going on? It was weird I couldn't select the master builders anymore. I was like, where did they go? Be one over here somewhere. Material. Where's the other one I built? Here. Build that, please. So we're missing for needed production. Okay. What is this? Oh, the mill. Use water and fiber. Oh, we haven't grown anything yet. How's the growing going? Two minutes. Can I add more? One over here. Okay, so that's too many. Cool. So let's put someone else on here. Like we could use it. Now there's the Each master builders. Increases the maximum number of resources that can be stopped in a settlement. If the stocks are full, our production sites cease their work. Vicinity to a stock house and easy access are important features for production buildings. A production site produces more effectively when it is connected to the town center by a road. All right, building connected to town center via road. We'll do. What was that going to increase? Gardeners? Forge are back working. Need them. Beavers. Uh, let's see. Another water carrier up there. Another fisherman for food. I'm gonna work on the gardening. Okay. You gotta make a real long road. Oh, it's just a road menu over here. Gravel path. Problem is I probably blocked off half the way to make a path. Well, that's great. Like a small way we can make it. That's not gonna connect. No. Well, it doesn't like oh that'll work. Another way we can connect oh we can connect over here. We, no, not that way. Right through the forest. Need more? Connect you. I think. And you're not one of our building. Wait. Yeah. You are, though. Okay. They're not going to count as town center, are they? We have to connect it this way then. All these 
you should be connected. Oh, we have to go all the way through here. That's four. Storage. Doesn't count. Cool. So we can try and connect it. No, we can't. What else can we connect? But we had more buildings than this. Empty work areas, buildings no longer function because this one. Remove it. Work radius, please. Thank you. I know it's kind of far, but it's better than we nothing. We need one more road, one more little road. If I could connect these, it would be better. But for some reason that won't connect as our land. Need one more place. Maybe I'll make another building. Sheesh. Unless I connect it over there. Maybe that'll help. Super. There we go. The more buildings you connect via your road network, the more stable the production at your settlement is going to be. When our economy thrives, it also uses up more resources. Luckily, we can regrow our wood. That's what we have the tree nursery for. No tree nursery assigned foresters. Okay, there's the tree nursery. Do I want to put, I guess, somewhere on the path? For now. Hopefully we will build it. We have the materials. Waiting for master builders. No, 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 don't stop the operation. Prioritize. I mean, it should be pretty. Prioritize anyways to complete the build. Scrapyard ran out of places to check on. Go over here, please. Any other empty ones? How's our fishing going? Very good. Water. Really fast. We're only at 517. We're 512 now. Hey, we're building it. It looks cute. Very cool. Oh, look at you building. Wait, are you bringing the... I think it's the town center. Oh, we're getting fiber. Wait, why aren't you taking it to the place I built for you? Maybe you are. In order to visit Food Depot. Okay. Oh, sign foresters. They built it so fast. Awesome. The tree nursery will plant trees within its work area that can be used again by the woodcutting lodge. That way, we create a healthy loop. The needles of the Geiger counters begin to swing harder. A sharp increase in radiation is going to occur soon. We should start to get sufficient protective clothing ready. Ooh, that's scary. Okay. Oh, no. We have to act fast. We need to produce protective clothing to shield us against the radiation. And for that, we need coal. Well, clan, two burners. Everything's gonna be on the path of everything we can get anyway. 
Hmm. What does the happy... Oh, they get unhappy if it's too close. That's interesting. Maybe I can make a road here. Not a good spot. Yeah, we can have like a path going that way. Coal burners, we need two. Yeah, I wouldn't want coal burning by where I live either. No, thank you. So it goes off like this. Make another path. No. Didn't mean to put that one there. A demolishing one. Okay, cool. Looks nice. Coal is made from wood. When wood gets scarce, assign more settlers to the woodcutter's hut or build a second one. The tailor shop can make protective masks out of coal and cloth. They ought to be sufficient for the time being. Our settlement already produces cloth, and we have just taken care of getting coal. All right, built tailor's workshop. Use a different protective clothing out of cloth and other resources. So once we buy that one, and that one we can't really reach. Can I rotate you? I can rotate you. I don't think I can make you reach that far. Can you go right there? It's too small. Let's remember to put those two together next time. Let's sign a tailor. Getting all the economy going. Speed it up a little bit. Our auto saves, got it. Ooh, ooh, I like seeing them being built. Is contaminated and our settlers what? are unprotected. That can mean the end of the settlement. The protective clothing we've just produced is truly a blessing. It is issued to the settlers automatically. That's good. I think it's automatically issued. Our fears have been confirmed. The radiation levels are rising sharply. That's scary, mister. The higher the radiation level in a particular zone, the better we have to protect our settlers. If the residents are not adequately protected, their exposure to radiation will rise. Excessive radiation exposure will gradually kill off our settlers. Although the protection is sufficient for the time being, we'll soon need to prepare ourselves for potentially stronger radiation. Whether from radiation, poor supplies, or simply old age. Sooner or later, we'll have to say farewell to all our settlers. We need a place where we can lay the dead to rest. Yeah. Build a graveyard. Okay, it's depressing, but yeah, needed. Where is the sea settlers? Where do I want to put you? Probably kind of far. I don't really want to put you on the way to the food. We can make a path over here. Close enough where they can pay respects. And it won't be right middle of town kind of thing. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, I didn't want it that way. Go this way first. This way. I mean, we could connect these two probably. Let's take this one off. I'd rather connect them that way. even. Hopefully looks nice. Ooh, but do I want to do that right now? No. Just in case we need a place right there. I 
Build it, please. We have one activated carbon mass. Okay. Activate carbon mass to produce from coal and cloth at Taylor's workshops. Contribute toward protecting the settlers against radiation. More different kinds of protective clothing be able to settlers a bit of better protection. Oh, I need to assign someone. Be the graveyard keeper. Oh, Undertaker. Thanks a lot. Now we have a place to mourn and commemorate those who came and went before us. I think we've put down roots here, and we should continue to expand our settlement. The next thing we should do is fire bricks, and for that, we need clay. Ah, we can finally use the clay. We're not able to simply mine clay yet. We lack the necessary expertise for that. For some advanced technologies like this, we first have to accumulate the necessary knowledge. To be able to conduct research, you first have to track down ancient knowledge in the wasteland. You can start an expedition at some of the ruins to obtain knowledge points. Not every site can be explored like this. Has some of them. At some of them, there are merely some resources to be gathered up. So to obtain knowledge, we need to ruin that we can explore with expedition. Take the Pathfinder and go explore the wasteland. Sooner or later, you'll find where our settlers can disembark and start an expedition under supervision. Investigate this ruin until we have earned a knowledge point. Well, that's fun. Where are the vehicles? Is this it? No, oh, where's our vehicle? I can't tell. Oh, it's over here. Engine running. We have no supplies in here. Yay. Back on my way. Over here. That sound like. What's this? Interesting ruin. Go here. Okay, okay, go here then. No? Engine running! Looting can be started via the vehicle. Engine running! Let's go here first, since it's quick. Rune. So we have cloth and we have tools. Sure. We could use that. Thank you. Let's go. That's cool. So I did get the expeditions. DLC for the first game, but I never actually got to play it. So I think this is kind of similar to what it might have been like. Maybe. Oh, that's good. We're not good at all. Thank you. Where we want to go is probably over here. On my way. But we'll uh, grab some things on the way here. Why not? Oh, is it telling me where to go down here? It's fine. I want to explore. Start to finish it. Yeah. An old depot. Oh. We should take a look around inside. Maybe we'll find something useful we can take with us. We get to move him? Nice. Take camera so we can see what he kind of sees. But just six. I'll take a look. This control unit needs power in order to work. This control unit needs power in order to work. On the road! Cool. What are these? Another unit? Let's go! We'll pack it. Oh, we got something? Oh, let's see what's back here first. I'm in. Oh, we got the power. Okay. Good. Thing on this side. On the road. Trying to make you move it. Let's go. Okay, that's neat. I can do this. Let's go. You need to move. 
This control unit needs power in order to work. The generator's running and supplying electricity. You open it over here. Well, there's an axe here. Oh, that's Maybe an axe. You can still put it to good use. Done. We got knowledge point now. Nice. Lots of going on here. Um, enter. On the road. Ooh, goodies. I'll do it. Uh oh, very viewable plant. What kind, of, kind of plant is it? It's worth taking along. Encyclopedia. Book enables to find and gather unknown plants. This way we can find new seeds. No. On the road. We don't have one yet. Ooh, food. What are Will you? Yeah, we don't know Let's about go. plant knowledge yet. He got some goodies. Oh, that's our truck. Let's go. Okay. Hang over here real quick. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, we found everything. We got a knowledge point. No, it says total progress is not it. <laughs> uh, I want to check in. this out. Please check the car out. I change my view. 85%. I guess that's good for now. Our explorers have extensively explored this ruin and consequently received one knowledge point. We can also use that point to research the kinds of technologies that require knowledge points. The knowledge points you've collected can be used to research new technologies. In order to research the clay pit, you'll need to use knowledge points in the economy branch. All right. Various access points uh, to certain full screen windows such as transport routes or research can be located below the map. Below the map. Oh, over here. What are we trying to do? Research. Ecology. Womp farm. Two points for that. The economy. There's a clay pit. Okay, that's what we need. Research. Oh, we need more tools. You need tools. Clay itself. Okay. We'll do once we go home. Can we go explore some more? I'm at the wheel. You are. We need more tools, so let's see if we can get a little more. Get that ruin. Take it all, please. Let's go. Let's explore it. Locations. Can't loot here? Feels like it. Oh well, we'll try this one. Where are we going? I don't know. Anywhere that looks good. Also wanna see what the map's like. Okay, we can move this ruin. Can't explore it, can we? All clear. Oh, it's like dark over here. The bridge. We discovered an old bridge that might be able to lead us across the river. It's an expedition to it. Who knows what ways it's need to side. All okay. clear. We'll check it out. Don't fall off into the river. Please. Drive. Oh, let's go. Oh, I guess you have to go in the water. Don't ruin our stuff. Let's go. Let's go. 
Let's go. Push your body. I wanna, I wanna go loot it. Okay, we'll go over here for now then. Engine running. It's not really letting me go over there. Looks like. Getting creepy. Loot this ruin. We need tools, so I'm like, yes, please. The wood won't hurt. We are. Home is okay. On my way. Can we explore here? Get knowledge points? Yeah, okay, loot. Ooh, recyclables. Okay, I like this part of it too. All clear. That count as another ruin. No, we have thanks. found a new zone. Take a look at it when you get a chance. It might be worth it to build a new settlement on it. Oh. Look over here. All clear. That. Oh. Yeah, we could lock by making progress in the toil. Right. Okay. I'm just looting right now. <laughs> I need to loot. Oh, we can't get past there. Yeah, let's go home. Looted quite a bit. Let's go. Let's say I hope it can actually click it. Actually click it over here. Got it. Let's go home. What's our settlement doing? We have no babies. 40 people. We probably need more homes. Ooh, 1,055 food. Yes, please. What do you mean after expedition? Can I, like, center on you? Oh, we can do the research now. Yeah. No, we don't have enough tools. We have 14... Oh, the scrap here needs to move. Barely any scrap. Stock home. We have enough to research. Get that before it goes away. Alright. Current research. Clay pits. Players to obtain clay from the surrounding area must be placed in a location where clay is found. Empty work areas where? Happy it told us where. Just a scrap one? Oh. Yeah, work on that big one, please. You're working hard on that scrap. Yeah, let's uh, exchange all these. Clear you out. It's really cool. Okay, nice. What are these? Lead ore, trolatex, copper ore, iron ore, herbs, clay. Bucket of sand. So the tailor's workshop. What are you using? Cloth and coal. Okay. Cutting lodge. Oh, you're almost full. I think I could do more expeditions. Oh, we could try down. Uh, let's see. Can we research anything? We don't have any points. Transport route. Uh oh. 
equipment. Saddlers. They're pretty good mood. We need that a book. Oh, I don't want to click that. I'm going to click the truck. I'm at the wheel. Yes, you are. Let's try down on the map. The wrong button. Great. Where are we going? Questions. Do we loot here? Yeah. Maybe. All clear. I think so. It's dark, so it's hard to tell anything. Engine running. Yeah, you're good. Okay, let's go over here. Please. Oh, I got one baby. Oh, we lost a settler. Hmm. Now we can explore here. It's probably we're supposed to go in the first place. But it's fine. There are tons of scrap on these grounds. If we open the entrance, our vehicles can transport the scrap home from here. Those supplies will keep us stocked for generations. Oh, there's our guy. Let's go. The entrance is locked tight. We won't be able to open it without activating the electronic control unit. I can do it. That's a different person. Nice. On the road. Over here. Ooh, we get to climb. We'd better take this along with us again. Wait, didn't we need the ladder? Let's go. do it. I didn't mean to take the ladder out, but... It worked! We'll do. Too bad we removed the ladder on accident. The hand? Okay. Go up the ladder, please. We can't do it like this. What do you mean? On the road. Is this a different spot we need to take it? Put it up? We'd better take this we along with grab us again. it. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Come on, move. Do not move here. On the road. Yeah, that one's weird. We should be able to climb this ladder. I'll take a look. Up. Oh. I need you to go up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Where we're supposed to go, but the road. this is another entrance. Let's go. Oh, now you move. Let's go. Okay, you definitely don't like any of that. Let's go. This one more time. Definitely sure she needs to climb the Let's ladder. Go. Not place try? We'd better take this along with us again. On the road. On the road. I can't do it. You're not. Air conditioner. Yeah, I just want to get out of that. 
Climb the ladder, my dear. I'll take a look. Oh, I had to hit the ladder itself. Yay. Thing up here. No. I'm in. The gate control unit on this side is broken. There's an intact control unit in the other hall that we could use to open the gates. How do you know that? I'm Let's in. check this out. There's an axe here. Maybe Ooh. we can still put it to good use. On the road. Lots a lot of outside, I think. I'll take Check a out look. the car. Generator. Let's go outside. On the road. We won't get the door open with bare hands. We'll have to force it open. A blowtorch. Blow torch is still good condition. Let's Let me go. check any of these. Nothing good. Ooh, I want this. Looks like. I'll take this with me. Oh, tools. Okay. There's a control panel. This control unit needs power in order to work. This Maybe control unit needs power in order to work. Do you want to get out there? Let's I'm try this in. one. This control unit needs power in order to work. All right. On Here. the road. On the road. On the road. Second floor. Let's go. Let's go. Is there a generator down there or up here? Let's go. Is it broken? Wait, where is this generator? Is it Oh, it's outside. I'm in. Where are we now? We'll do. All right, found the generator. Nothing else out here at the truck or anything? Let's go. Let's go. Guess not. Done. We need to go to the generator. On the road. Let's go. Click everywhere I need to click. Okay, now I should be able to open it. I'll take a look. This control unit needs power in order to work. Okay, this one is the one. This Over control here. unit needs the generators running and supplying electricity. Okay, right, now I should we'll be able to open the store and the other door. Only at forty five percent progress. The entrances are open. Now our vehicles can come here and load up the scrap. Maybe we'll find something else on the grounds besides scrap too. We should take a look around. Resource mine built, knowledge point received. Yeah, I, yeah, I'll we get the do it. car. Ooh, a toolbox. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll win. I'll do it. At least she has a lot of inventory space. The container. At least it highlights everything. Let's go. That's useful because it's hard to see. Are we moving? Let's go. Eighty one percent now. Pack that. Ooh, recyclables, that's good. Nothing's popping up.
Nothing back here? Okay, let's try over here. Let's go. Was a great. I'll do it. We have an axe, but what's the blood storage? Here's a cut or patch metal parts. So definitely have to find something for that. Let's go. Conditioner, ladder. What does it want me to do here? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Well, I'm gonna guess we can just use it for another expedition, maybe. Unless we're supposed to open that. No, it's open. Let's go. Get out of here. Resource mine produces scrap. Plus ten a minute. Okay, that's cool. We got quite a bit of call. Yeah, we can take all this. There's still something else, but I couldn't find it yet. I just say go home. So we're not far from home. Auto saving. Go home for now. I think it should still be clicked Answer on, but okay. We're moving. Let's go. I do wish we could follow it. Is there a follow? Focus. There we go. All clear. To exchange it. Uh, corpse? Oh, you know what I'm called. Oh, wait. Nah, I should have the axe with. Not that. We don't need to exchange that. Oh, it's full. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. Let's craft rate 450. We probably need another way to store it. We need a material depot. You right here. Build that up. We have seven mass. <laughs> We're um forty people. That's not good. We need more water. We build another jetty. Oh, can we do more research? Let's see. Can we research? Quick works. We need clay. Let's build a clay place. Did we build the storage? Yeah, just gonna make it. Okay, where's the clay place? 
clay pit. I thought we unlocked it. Oh, we're still doing that. <laughs> Never mind. I thought it said it was done. That was something else. Yeah, okay, let's build a jetty. We need more water, it looks like. Rotate it out. Build a road. Guess we can start building off this way a bit. That's not a building. We need to. I thought we were scrapping it, this one. We are just slow. It has a lot of materials in it, which is great. Great. We can build clay pits with that. Finally. The settlers will have to collect knowledge for further research in the future as well. Maybe now would be a good time to explore some more ruins. It's up to you. Clay is mined in a clay pit, which has to be placed at a clay deposit. If there isn't a clay deposit in a particular zone, then you can't obtain any clay there. Clay pits? That is right here, so we have a little road. We have the materials to build it. Clay pit. Okay. Yes, let's put you over here. Right by the clay pit. Please build it. Then we need to assign three clay diggers. Oh, we need more water carriers. Okay, not that many water carriers. Like another tailor. Oh, here's clay diggers. We're gonna have 15. Oh my goodness, that's a lot. That's a whole lot of you. Okay, construction is in progress. Good. I was like, do we have any master builders available? Very cool. That's like a quarry or something. Quarry. Hammer that building. Um, you don't have to stay in the same spot to hammer that building. Humongous pit. Oh, it's right by the grave. Oh. Did not mean to do that. Sorry. Oh. Awesome. Clay is the basis for a completely new building material. Don't forget that the clay pit benefits from a connection to a road and to depots in the vicinity. Now the newly obtained clay has to be fired into bricks. This is done at the brickyard. It's best if you place it near the clay pit. By the way, we don't need a knowledge point to investigate the brickyard. It's because the clay pit was right here, so it's like, oh, it works, but I have to put the clay pit right there. Oh well. Yeah, we gotta research. Brick works. We need the clay, okay. Gotta actually make the clay first. Well, we are missing three items. Clay, which we're about to get. Oh, those are bricks. Oh, okay, even better. Vaccine ampule and rubber. Oh, your rubber gloves? Okay. We can make more homes. Can I research our homes, please? Can we still unlock things while we're waiting? So, hut. Oh, you need bricks. Okay, that's cool. I should probably wait and see what it wants me to do. I guess we could start an expedition while we wait. Engine running! Oh, we needed a depot? Let's put a depot over here. Storage. 
are you still research takes a while so it's clear we made you per minute okay it's gonna take a little while to get 10. Right there. I don't want to scrap these. Can we reach it? Yeah. Start working on these. They're in the way and they're huge, so. But we have no room for scraps, so. What do we use scrap for? Eat one of these over here. So much scrap. You need more room for scrap. Little brick works. Eventually. I could speed it up, but I probably want to go. Oh, what's this? Add a storage capacity for the foraging hut again. The food one. Right there. Thirty two tools. I'm sure we could maybe find some bricks or something. Oh. You know the food one? Did we give you a food one? Access point enables raw material transfer between zone and vehicles. Oh. How's that work? Zone and vehicles? Like this zone up here? No. We need to find a book. That's why we were early, right? Oh, 100%. Yes. While well, they're working on all of that, we're gonna explore a little bit. I don't know. We're gonna explore. Anything down here? All clear. I don't think so. But I want to unlock it. Might just be the bottom of this map. There's definitely... Oh, there's something over here. We've full explored you. Yeah, let's try and get over to this. Let's go. I know it's pretty far, but... Okay, there's two... Various places. Fun way to explore. We have an axe, we have a blowtorch, so we can do something. That's pretty cool. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Our word. Look this ruin. Oh, dark. That's cool, there's different types. You can just loot some or you can explore a few. Oh, you're an expedition? Really? I'm going to actually end this episode here, but thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and have an awesome day.
Bye.